What's the crack, lads? We are back with a bumper, a pack opening, review, and training guide for all the AFC Asian Cup packs. So we've already covered Japan and South Korea with Son and Matoma and all those guys. So they're in more detail, but we're going to be covering the rest of the players and showing you which players we would train up, which are worth it, which are not worth, you know, putting the trainer points into, and do a kind of a big video of that. So any feedback, let me know in the comments below. Don't forget to subscribe. So even though we've done Japan in our other profile where we've opened our free spin, I'm just going to open this one here and talk about probably the best two players. Endo has really surprised me. Let's see who we get here. We actually get Matoma, so that's huge. That's a really, really nice pull on this profile, which is our road to glory. Matoma and Endo are probably the best two selections on this if you train them up. I do have the full video done. And we're also going to clear, as well as that, we're going to clear the South Korea or the Republic of Korea one as well, which is our free spin. I mean, Kim and obviously Sun are going to be the two big boys on this one. And it looks like we've got a top pick but it's not either of those. It is the different Kim, Kim Jun Su. So not a bad option either. I have done the full videos on them. But we are going to focus a bit more in detail on the Thailand pack. So we're going to do a quick of review of all of these here. Um, and then we'll do a spin of the player that we get here. Uh, if you guys would want to see that. I mean, listen, a lot of these players that you're going to see here, lads, the biggest problem with them is their lack of player skills. That's the biggest problem, like first and foremost, straight off the bat. There's there's a lot of levels on these guys, so they take a lot of trainer XP. I'm going to show you all of these guys and their training guides, but to be honest with you, you will find better alternatives in the GP if you're looking to kind of, you know, get through the divisions and try and play for wins. If you're looking to play with a bit of, for a bit of fun and play with your national team or you're looking to play with cards like this, or if you're spinning for a specific player, there are some nice cards in this. I'm going to quickly go through them over here on eFootballDB.com. And you can pause the video anywhere that you want here to show the training guides. So for example, I'm going to go through all of these here and show you exactly where they are. You can pause the video at any, any which place because we've a lot to get through here. They are the builds, but you'll see a lot of the weaknesses with these cards is while this guy even taking this guy as an example, Fala, as a left winger. He gets nice speed, he gets nice acceleration with the manager boost and dribbling, but then his tight possession and balance is, is not up to the mark. And also his passing and finishing is quite poor for a winger, that you can get better from the GP marketplace. Same with this guy, is a CB, fairly decent defensive stats, and he's going to have 78 speed with any five-star manager, but his rest of his stats are quite low, such as his jump, his physical contact, and of course he's missing some skills. And it, it just follows suit the whole way through, lads. You can pause the video on any of the selections here, um, if you want, I will have chapters on this video as well because it's going to be a bumper episode. Goalkeeper, you know, 79 reflexes just isn't enough no matter which way that you swing this. It doesn't really make a difference to how you train him up. I mean, you can literally pump everything into that and he's still not going to get to 88 reflexes with 16 in. So, bit of a pity. We also have Burerat there as well. Lads, these names, man, I just can't pronounce half of these players, so apologies. No Choya, this guy as well. And then this guy, Chrysorn. Um, who plays for True Bangkok United as part of the Thailand Asian Cup players. So all of those players there, in my opinion, they're just missing a couple of skills, stats, or a mixture of both. And then obviously with the play styles as well, you will see some players here down as a prolific winger, but he has no stats I've or no skills. This guy down as a left back is an attacking fullback, but he has no skills apart from pinpoint crossing. So that is Thailand done and dusted there. And we're just going to spin and see who we get on this as well and see whether it's going to be worth training him up or not, unless it's a top pick. I mean, this guy's not bad. We talked about him. He's not a bad player at all. He's a bit of pace. And in this squad, I might actually use him, which is my second Road to Glory account. Up next, we do have Indonesia. And we're going to spin straight off the rip with Indonesia and see what way they uh, pack them out here. We are actually going to get an attacking midfielder. I think he's down as a whole player. Um, is he down as a whole player? I didn't even check, but we're going to check out Indonesia here. They've got some fairly nice players as well. So Indonesia, I think, are one of the weaker selections here. Apologies to any Indonesia fans or if that is your country. Um, obviously, there is a couple of exceptions here. Uh, we did spin, you just saw, and we got a Ferdinand there as well. A lot of these cards have lack of player skills. They don't have unwavering form. They've got standard form and a couple of bad uh, player skills. But we're going to show you very, very quickly. We're going to go through the builds here, starting from the highest rated player all the way down. So you can pause the screen 
at any stage here lads if you want to build for one of these players and just to go through a couple of these stats this guy is kind of a really nice selection if you're looking to play an event with indonesia um and he's probably one of the better picks of it here he's got 90 speed 91 if you've got 10 hag 95 acceleration balance dribbling and the ball control are all going to be at the 84 85 mark which is pretty decent you've got rito here as well who is a very average center back in terms of his defensive capabilities but he's got 80 plus speed and tackling at 90 which is pretty decent um i actually like this card it's quite a it's quite a nice card you've got clock who we just saw there as well speed and acceleration very solid card around kind of like the mid mark um early game kind of mid mark if you are a newcomer you've got ferdinand who we just got there a lot of pace a lot of style but he's just not really excellent in any area as a whole player not bad option you've got Ranto this guy's down as a cb as well he's actually quite nice uh, he's got 75 plus speed and all his defensive stats are quite decent as well except aggression which doesn't go past 90 but it's fairly decent arhan this guy's got a couple of cards uh over the last couple of days he plays with tokyo verde he's got a nice card lads 88 balance 88 speed with the boost is going to get you to the 90 mark and then rounding it off here we've got camboya or camboya uh that guy there you've got the fuanga or the wanga you've got Bagus. You can pause these videos, lads, Bahar, and of course, the Rajad. I don't want to make this video too long, honestly, so I will split it into a couple of sections, but there are, yeah, this isn't a great pack, lads. Even this guy here, he's got low balance, kicking power is poor, and of course, his dribbling and tight possession. The only thing going from him is his finishing and his acceleration and speed, which a lot of cards have at this stage in the game next up we have malaysia and there's one absolute beast in this i'll open the pack first to get us cracking and i want dion cools lads this guy is an absolute beast we don't get him we get halim as well uh, as a, another left midfielder or that kind of area you have the same issues you have the same issues with a lot of these cars i'll get the training guides up in a second if you want to flick through those but this guy is a monster man look at his stats right he doesn't have any player skills for a defender but he's a build-up cb with a base starting stat of 81 speed now when we actually have a look at his uh he's got a wavering form as well he doesn't have a face in game but this guy's stats are ridiculous. So this is the build that we've gone for here with him, which is two into dexterity, seven, three, and 17 into defending. That is going to get you this 90 speed, uh, 90 plus in three defensive capabilities here. Tackling, aggression, defensive engagement are all going to be over the 90 mark and speed is going to be 90. So it's a really, really, really nice card as a buildup. We have the rest of the players here to go through. That's the guy that we just got there, Halim. 88 speed and acceleration and balance with the boost is going to be 90. There's the guy there, 214, 88, 12. And of course, we've got Matthew Davies there as well as a right back. A lot of these cards, lads, we keep saying it. They're going to be missing a couple of player skills. They're going to have standard form, a lot of them. A lot of these guys won't compete with the GP players if you do a lot of training into them. Like, look at this guy, man. He's got area superiority and interception down as a destroyer, but he doesn't have anything else. Like, and when we have a look at his build here, he does go fairly nice with the defensive stats, but even base Marquinhos or any of those guys, base Jimenez, the free Jimenez that they release are probably better. So there's the rest of the guides here just to go through them uh 8 15 13 and 6 starting with dribbling dexterity lower body and then ending with defending um a lot of these cards as i said les you can pause this video at any which way you want and just you know take down the guides or whatever i'm just keeping it short and sweet there's no point over complicating a lot of these cards lads you know you'll be playing with them the same way as if you are a fan of this nation or you are a fan of some of these players if this was an ireland pack these ratings and skills wouldn't bother me really you know i'd be buying them because you know i want to play with some irish players that are non-standard cards if that makes sense so you are kind of like in a different kind of pool of players even from standard gp you know meta players like mbappe and stuff like that this guy i mean dembele is going to be better than this guy obviously it's not all about stats and skills but these guys are missing a lot of skills they're missing a lot of player id and and stuff like that that the top players have um and that's just going to finish us off with the malaysia pack right there and we did already open up the player that we got uh, and we got this guy we would have liked cools as well i might spin for him just have a bit of a unique one it's only 100 coins but we are going to go straight on to hong kong so this player pack can be summed up by this card here son ming him dummy runner center forward good stats doesn't even have any player skills does have an ai playing st style but his standard form is not going to cut it. A lot of these cars are just a little bit below what, where they need to be. 
again, you know, I'm not going to overcomplicate it and say that you can't use these cards because you can. And if they, if these cards were some cards that I wanted in here, I think that they are worth spinning for if you are especially from that nation. If you are from Hong Kong and you want to actually sign these cards and support these cards in the Asian uh, Cup, I do feel like that they, there are one or two in here. But we're not going to spend any much time on them because, as we already said, these guys have only got usually got one or two cards um, or one or two skills that are worth actually looking at. All of these here, you'll see. This guy's got some nice player skills. He's down as a creative player, playmaker. He's not a bad option at all. But the big also, when you get a, find a nice card that you actually like, then you run into the issue of the rating. None of these cards and any of these packs are on rating because there's no rating for national teams. So again, it just kind of brings in that point, is, is, is it worth kind of spinning from, right? So I'll just give a quick run through. Again, you guys can you know pause this video wherever you want um and you can see the stats and you can see the training guides down the bottom left there uh, as we just go through this rather quickly i think just to kind of uh, clear it off and then head into the next pack you already saw who i opened there you can just pause this video these will all be time marked anyway and time stamped so you'll be able to go at your own leisure if you want to go back and watch a player guide that's why i'm keeping it very very short and sweet i mean this goalkeeper here lads has got 88 awareness and 85 reflexes you can pretty much spend 20,000 gp and get a goalkeeper that's going to be able to produce these type of stats and then on top of that then as well you're not going to have that player uh, style you're not going to have that player id uh, you're not going to have all the skills and of course you're not going to have the player rating either like he only has high punt there as well so yeah a little bit disappointing but let me know what you guys think if you have actually spun for any of these now one pack that i'm going to just look at here is going to be the india pack there is some nice players in that as we go through we four more left right so the india pack obviously i'll leave china as well to a little bit to late india pack the only player that goes up to 91 is this guy here which is going to be a fox in the box center forward he doesn't have great speed but he's got a fairly nice play style um in fox in the box which they've kind of buffed i think with v3.3 right so we'll open this pack and see to be honest with you lads this this there's only a few players in this one there isn't as many players in this pack for some reason it's not a full squad so we get the center back i'll just give you a quick training guide of these guys as well same issues with these players if you are going to be signing these players you you can clear it obviously with six spins because you get one free spin and then you'll have six yourself so it'll cost you 600 coins so if you do want to you can clear this very very easily compare compared to the other ones and you've got a chance of getting everyone but you've got the same problems man you've got players with no play styles no player skills on standard form with c rating so I do think that that's going to be a concern and an issue going forward. You've got a fairly nice center forward here, um, but doesn't have first time shot or one touch pass. So you're going to have to give him them. Any of these players that you want to turn into kind of division players. I mean, these for the events are going to be quite fun to play with. Um, and I will show you the builds here. Uh, let me see. So there we go. So there's one build uh, for the center forward. We've got a go uh, center midfielder here as well. I'll just give you a tip, lads. If you can't get 90 with the manager boost, so see there with pass, it's 88. We've popped 15 into passing. If you can't get 90, if you can't get a stat to 90, settle for 80 or else 85 if you can't put the stats anywhere else. That is probably the biggest tip I could give you for V3.3 at the moment. There is Singh. There, there's uh, another guy here right back. We've got another left midfielder. You can pause these videos as I keep repeating. Um, but that is the India pack there as well. And then on top of that, lads, we are going to also, while we're at it and in the flow, take a look at Iraq's squad. So we're going to open this up here and that is going to give us, I think this is the 11 man pack as well. We've got the blimp in the air and we, of course, get the goalkeeper. I mean, it wouldn't be a video without us, a pack open a video for us without getting a goalkeeper. He's got unwavering form and high punt and captaincy, but he doesn't have low punt and he doesn't have long throw, which is a major no-no for me. But he's not, listen, any of these guys, I keep repeating it, lads. I don't want to keep repeating it. There's no point opening these unless you have your heart set on, on, on getting one of these players, right? Any of these guys here that you see are going to run into the same issues um, across the board. So just to give you a quick training guide of these here, um, Rasan is there as your attacking midfielder. This guy's not bad. 88 balance, acceleration, and dribbling is going to give you 90 with all of those stats with the manager boost. And of course, you can throw on any skills that you want. You've got another center midfielder there, which is quite decent. You've got another CF there that gets 90 finishing, and kicking power is pretty decent if you're looking for a player that's a bit of, of a different one. Not a bad left back, a fairly unique left back, actually. 12 into dexterity and lower body. 
that's going to give you with Ten Hag. A lot of these players will need to be used in long ball counter with Ten Hag to get the plus three to the speed. That will give you 90 for speed and 93 stamina or 92 stamina. And then tackling aggression and defensive engagement will all be fairly nice as well. You've also got Hussein Ali there as a right winger. I think this guy should have probably been a little bit higher rated, uh, to be honest, even though he's got good pace and good balance. You've got uh, another goalkeeper here. If you want to pause it, you've got a right winger. You've got another DMF, which isn't bad either, with 78 speed. And of course, he's going to have 88 aggression, which will get the plus two, which will be 90. And then you have Ab Abud as well as your CMF. A lot of CMFs in this one uh, for some reason, uh, and a lot of different type of players. And then you also have rounding it off there, the last players that we see here, um, which I think, I keep I keep saying it, lads, if you are going to be buying these players, uh, you do need to you do you do need to understand that they're you know the furthest away from meta as possible. But if you are playing just the events and having a bit of fun or playing custom matches, it can be quite nice to use different types of players. So let's round it off. We've got China and Saudi Arabia, and lads, there's only one player I want to talk about with China, but we will spin first of all and see who we do end up getting. I'll probably get a goalkeeper or else a centre back. That's usually the way it goes for me on this road to glory profile. But we'll see. We'll see what happens right here. And I do feel like that this China pack, what did I tell you? I knew, lads, we always get goalkeepers, man. It's, it's, it's not new for us. And this goalkeeper is going to go straight into the rubbish bin with no disrespect. But yeah, there's only one player that I want to talk about and that is Luby Binbin. We'll leave him to last, but they have some unique center backs. I'm going to show you the training guides. I'm going to show you everything as we already have done. Again, you have the issue with the player skills and the lack of play styles and player ID, whatever way you want to call it. Basically, the way that the players operate on the pitch, the way that their behavior works, the runs they make, the runs they don't make, which is an even bigger issue. But you've got some really nice center backs here that have got pace, they've got defense prowess, they've got power, they've got everything that you could possibly want as we go through them there. Pause the video at any time if you want to go back and check out the builds. That is probably the best thing to do as I keep repeating throughout the video. I will be also working on another video, um, which will be the epic players. I'm not too sure if I will even do a video on it yet in terms of whether I'll just do a live stream of it. Um, but we will have some sort of video on it. I'll get into that at the end of the video. This is another CB here as well with interception and blocker. Not a bad build-up player. And then working our way from left to right, we're going to take another look at this CB here. Uh, Zunyoi. Zunwai. I mean, these guys' names are very hard to pronounce for an Irishman like me. So I'm not even going to try and announce pronounce them um, because I'll probably end up uh, making a mess of them and you'll ridicule me. So we'll just call them... Um, you know, the next player here and there or whatever. So you've got a DMF here as well as an aggression with 90. You've got speed and acceleration pretty decent. You've also got another center back. A lot of these cards, in my opinion, are not going to be useful unless you're playing the events. I keep repeating the same stuff. I know I do. But that is kind of like where it's at right now at the moment. We, we also have Yang here as well as our left back. Speed and acceleration is quite decent. Tackling aggression is, is, is okay as well. And I'm going through this very quick, so please do pause it if you are looking. Now, the main man I want to talk about is Louis Binbin. Bin. We will put a couple of clips in here of him absolutely rinsing people like last night's dishes. He's a beast, man, and he plays way above his stats. You've got 90 type possession, speed and acceleration with balance, ball control and dribbling. Very nice as well. So that is the China pack. We do obviously want to spend a little bit more time on Louis Binbin. Bin. But we can't. We have enough clips of him to go around to last us a lifetime. He's just been a beast for us. And it kind of just puts it into perspective as well. as It's to play with players that you have a bit of crack with. That's kind of where I'm at with the game at the moment. I've got to Division 1 with, you know, uh, pretty much a road to glory twice. I've got with Collar as my main striker. I've got with a meta squad. We've got to the current um, Division 1. Or we're trying to get to the current Division 1 at the moment. And it looks like we'll be able to make it. So um, let's see, man. Let's see if we are able to do it. Um, it's just time. That's my biggest thing. I hope I'm able to stream and, and spend a bit of time on it. So we're going to open up the Saudi Arabia pack here and just go through these rather quickly because we probably are going to get a CB. Again, what did I just tell you? A CB or a goalkeeper has just got my name written all over it. Another center back, pretty decent card, destroyer, Hassan Al Tambakti. Apologies again, lads. I really shouldn't pronounce names. Honestly, I just shouldn't. 
But again, these cards, this is an 11-man pack, and you've got all the players starting from left to right. Some nice players in here. Actually, the Saudi Arabia cards are surprisingly good. I played an event on Mother Profile with a few of these cards, and they've got some nice player skills and play styles and player ID. Their runs are quite nice in certain formations and systems. If you are looking to get past Division 3, I feel like you have to really pick a choice or make a choice um, with the players that you're picking. You will notice that a lot of players will use the top 50 players in the game if they're getting past Division 3, 2, or 1. Uh, and that's kind of the way it is. But these cards can still be fun to use, in fairness. They can be still fun to use. They can be still fun to try out. Pause the video at any stage here, lads, with the training guide. And I'm just going to see if we can get any of these cards. There's a dog barking outside the window there now, lads, and he's annoying me. But hopefully you don't pick it up on the mic. Um, Aldo Aswari, this guy here is a left wing, left mid. Then we're going on to... This guy is quite decent, lads. He's a very unique card because he can actually play attack and midfield and SS, I think. I'm not too sure if he can play central as well. He can. He can play CF as well. But he's down as a cross specialist and he's got double touch. So you could actually stick ball roll on him if you have got flip flap and soul control. Just lying around. You know, if it's if you have it as loose change in your pocket with the player skills and it's worth about 300,000 GP to actually give it to him. But I like having unique players that you can do different things with sub tactics. Especially in co-op. You can try out these players if you are willing to spin a couple and spend a couple of coins on it. We are coming to the end of this video and we have got the rest of the players here. Fairly nice aggression, fairly nice speed and fairly nice stats for this card that we just saw there a second ago. Weighted pass, one touch pass. Fairly nice, man. And when you see his level and up here, he looks like a decent, uh, a decent player to actually use. Aggression uh, is pretty nice. And another centre back here that we see. A lot of the centre backs. You guys noticing a lot of the centre backs have got 80 speed and three defensive stats in the 90s. I, I kind of spoke about that a while back in the channel, where we were talking about the changes that they've made uh, to how the speed works, the pace works, and stuff like that. So hopefully, as well as this, by the time this video goes out, I'm not too sure when I'll release it, but I will hopefully do a video on my V3.3 impressions, um, and then also have a video up as well on a couple of other bits and pieces, and talk about the gameplay for V3.3 um, when it actually comes out, and when it's there and ready to, to kind of go, because I do think that they are going to change quite a few bits and pieces of it, you know, so it's kind of hard to predict sometimes um, what changes are going to come, whether there'll be small tweaks or not. So yeah, that is pretty much it, lads. And for everyone that's been asking me about this as well, I will do a video on this. I haven't opened these spins yet. I'm thinking of doing like a pack opening type review. I'll see if I get the time to do it. I don't want to make the video too long, as long as this one. This is a very long video. I don't usually do videos this long, but people have been asking me on the stream to cover these Asian Cup packs all the time so hopefully um you guys get your lucky spins you get the best spins that you could want the japan the japan pack is probably the best all round you've got ito endo mitoma and kubo that are all able to slot in to division one two or three squads if you want to uh endo has been a beast for me on other road to glory so that is it for me lads i will be back very soon don't forget to subscribe if you like the content and if you didn't like it let me know some constructive criticism other than that we'll talk to you in a bit